Well, today we're going to be learning about the type of different types of chemical reactions. And the objective is to understand what each of them are, to be able to recognize them, and also to be able to use them to, you know, recognize the problem. Okay? And if you don't know anything about chemistry, it's okay, because this is the way you get to learn a little bit about it. So each of you guys are going to get a number, random number, when your number is called at some point during the presentation, you get a chance. So we better pay attention now. Huh? Yes, we better pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about chemical reactions. And what are chemical reactions? Basically, you have one thing, a substance changing from one to another. So like if you have a sheet of paper and you lit it, it's going to go from a sheet of paper to ashes. So one thing, have a substance changing from one thing to another. All right, so there are different types or different parts of a chemical reaction. And I will see number two can come up and see if they can guess where it goes. I'm good, I'm not number two. You don't have to bring up your number to keep it because you're going to be number two. Okay, I'm going to gotten higher than C minus in science. So <laughs> we're looking here. It's like the first, right? Some purpose. We'll all help you out. Okay, now I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a math connection. Okay, I'm guessing that's Very good. Okay. That's yeah, right. Oh, you want to do all of them? No. Okay. <laughs> I knew that one. All right, number three. The number three. Number three is over here, sir. You have number three? You gave me two my hands. Oh, sorry. Let me see. You could be number three. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to pick a product. Well, first of all, when you're doing a, she has, coefficient is the number that's in uh -huh. front of each chemical, right? So I'm going to pick reactant. So I'm going to put it over here. See, that's not right. So there has to be a, um, yeah, so if that's not right, then it has to be. That's it. Right here. Yeah. So now you can see how sometimes students could say, okay, well, this is the reactant. Well, it's not. This is more specific. That's one of the reactive All right, number six. And it's okay, because if you don't get it right, then you can get all this product. Very good. All right. Number one. So as you can see, the reactants are always going to be on which side of the equation? The left side. And the products are always going to be on the right side. And the arrows in the middle. Whoops. Okay. All right. There you go. Very good. And number seven. Okay. So what's left? Exactly right. State, of, State matter. of matter. Well, by deduction, let's see, I guess it has to go yeah. There we go. Awesome. So, as you can see, on the I left side of the <laughs> equation, you're always going to have the what? Reactants. And on the right side, you're going to have the product. In the middle is your arrow. There's always going to be an arrow to separate the products from the reactants. All right? Coefficients are in front and the molecules are what's taking part of the reaction. All right, so the first type of reaction, which is what you'll be writing on your sheet, is synthesis. You want to write the standard equation and then also an example. All right? So, or even anything that you think is going to help you remember. So this synthesis reaction is basically when you have two products coming together to make one. So a good analogy to use is it's like you're getting married. 
You have a man and a woman come together and they become one. All right? So, let's see what's going to happen in this situation. So, we have A plus B. What's going to happen? They're going to join. So, let's see if someone can show us how that happens. So, the number four. Can you show us how that happens? Show us how A and B come together. So you're going to move them. Remember, we start with the reactants and we end with our products. So let's try to put A and B together to make them one. Before you put the answer. <laughs> so just touch it and move it over to the other side. And see, how can I make A and B come together in one? So that would be Exactly. They have to do it yet, right? So let's see A and B come together. They're together, but they're not There we go. Very good. So put this to the right. Awesome. All right, so that's the first one. Synthesis. Like you're getting mad. Then we have decomposition. <laughs> I've been there, done that. Decomposition is the opposite of synthesis. You have one substance breaking down to make two different substances. Right? So, let's see who's going to be our lucky Two. All right, so show us how A and B get the divorce. Well, B or A goes there, B goes as far away. Here, and then yeah, and then in logical sense, it would be a plus sign here, so they say they're together. Very good. All right. So decomposition, divorce. To think of it like that, and oh, okay. separate. All right. All right, now we have this interesting one called single displacement reaction. And it's kind of like we have two, before we were dealing with one coming to, or two becoming one. In this case, we're going to have two becoming two. So you have two different substances or molecules becoming two different molecules. So it's like you're taking away a partner. Say, for instance, me and Adam, we went, you know, this is, not student sense, but <laughs> if we're friends, we went out to Quiznos or something, and Julie comes by, and she's like, oh, Adam, uh, why don't we go to the movies? And you just leave with Adam and leave me there. And it's like, I'm just third will. Uh, yeah, third will. So it's like you're taking away the part. So let's see. Number three. Number three. Me. <laughs> That's me. All right. So, take it away apart. We have, and on this, whatever, here we have A, so it's going to switch with, we're going to move the place out of the wall, and it's going to switch with, oh. All right, so A takes away C. And then B is all up. Oh. All right, so then we see the answer. It could be the other way around. All right. All right, so this one is double displacement. Before single, one is set, was one is splitting with the other taking away a partner. In this case, you're exchanging the partners. So A will swap with C, B will swap with C. Meaning metals swap with metals and non-metals swap with metals. So. All right, so let's see who's. Me, I wasn't paying attention. What was that mean? So you're exchanging partners. A is going to swap with gotcha. C, and B is going to swap with C. Change of partners. Yes, yeah, so you switch A. So A is going to have a different, different partner. A different partner, maybe 
Well, so you can. A is going to swap with C, meaning like okay, they're two gotcha, separate gotcha. entities. So, so A is going to go with C. Okay. Right. okay. And then C will go with B. B. Or I put these two. Put C first. I put C first. C. Yeah, and then B. And they're added together. So then it will be plus C. Plus C over here. Right. Exactly. So you start you start with two primes and with two primes. Gotcha. Right? So of course you you write these things down on the regular sheet. Combustion is basically burning. Basically, whenever you have a um, let's say this is methane, ethane, these are different types of um gases. <laughs> Different gases combined with oxygen, you're always going to form carbon dioxide and water. That's what you have to remember. They form carbon dioxide and water every single time. All right? So every single time a gas combined with O2, oxygen, it's going to form carbon dioxide and water. Product for this is going to be, I'll just show you because it's more complicated. So number four. I'll show the answer for this one because it's a little bit more complicated. But all you need to know is that it's always going to form CO2 and water. Okay. Okay. All right, so now it's your time to try to guess what the chemical reaction is. From all these clues, it's up to you to try to guess what those are. And you're going to write your guess on this sheet of paper. So this is everyone's gonna so you look give at the an problem answer. over here and try to guess which one of these. You have to try to guess which chemical reaction it is. So I'm gonna slide this bar across so you can see it's combining. So from your notes. Where I give you the answer is becoming one and getting married. Oh. Right? Which one do you think that is? So you can write your answer down. And when you are ready, you can show it to the other team. Okay. If you can use a marker, I can see. Yeah. which is carbon dioxide is produced. We have heat production and burning. Which one do you think that is? Question? Question. Yeah, you gotta use the chemical terms. And the type of reaction is combustion. Alright, and let's see if you can guess this one. That is we have two elements swapping with each other. We have exchanging of partners and trading items. So you see the hats exchanged. Good. Wait. All right, remember, decomposition is like getting a divorce. Decomposition. Double displacement, two starts on one side and two starts on the other side. So it's the only one that's two things happen. Don't make this place. And these are some examples of those reactions. All right, let's see. This one is separating, getting a divorce, breaking, like breaking something apart. Very good, very good. All right, and that's decomposition. Good. And let's see if you can guess this one. We have one element swaps with one with another, taking away a partner, stealing away a mate. So 
double displacement. Remember, double displacement is what you're changing partners. Okay. Right? And of course, it's 